A very good day folks, you're back with the YouTube channel The Aero Technician. Today I'm gonna explain you what are accesses and their stability. So without further ado, let's get to it. So as you can see on the screen now, there are three types of accesses of an aircraft, like which one which goes uh, vertically and what one which goes horizontally and one which goes um, perpendicular to the horizontal axis so all or as you can say x y and z so these these are the three main um, axes of an aircraft so the one which goes vertically from top to the bottom you you call this as normal axis and also the one which goes from one wing tip to the other, we call it lateral axis. And from nose to the tail, we call it uh, longitudinal axis. Okay, so before, before explaining these three axes, all these three axes meet at one point. That is what, what we call as center of gravity. Now, usually, how do we know the center of gravity? As an aeronautical engineer, if you want to ca calculate, or an aircraft maintenance engineer, if you want to calculate where the uh, cent uh, center of gravity is, you can actually check uh, the manual of the aircraft. It states where the reference point is and where is the proper position of the C of G. I mean, as an aircraft maintenance engineer, you should know it should be within the limits. As an aeronautical engineer, you have to calculate it. So how do we do it? We actually have a fixed reference point. Some manufacturers, they take nose as a zero or as some, they take a further away from the nose, which is a, a bit forward from the nose. That's to have positive values. So how do we do it? We actually calculate the weight of each uh, section of the aircraft, including the two wings up until the tail and then we also calculate the moment from the reference axis. Uh, for example, we say our axis is over here, somewhere over here. So we calculate the moment from each one and that total moment is divided by the total weights of the aircraft and it will give the C of G from that reference point. This is how we calculate it. So all three axes that I was talking about meets at this place. And now about stability. What is the stability? Like stability is what makes the aircraft stable in it. So what do we know about stability? So we have the normal axis which goes from top to bottom and it gives us directional stability. And how do we do this? It is done by the, uh, the rudder system which is on the vertical, um, vertical stabilizer. So, when it, when, uh, 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 from normal axis, we have direction stability. It gives, it moves in left and right. And this is done by the rudder. And the next one, uh, uh, on, on longitudinal axis, which is from nose to the uh, tail, we have lateral stability. How do we remember that whether we have lateral stability? So from uh, on, over the lo longitudinal axis, the aircraft moves this way. So what do we call this? We call this rolling. So rolling is done by the ailerons. So when once one side of the aileron goes up, the other side goes down and a side where, which goes down lifts itself up. So where, where are these? Uh, um, flight controls located in the lateral axis. So it gives over the lateral stability. And the next one is the lateral axis, which is this from one wing tip to the other. And now this will give us the pitch. Now, how do we control the pitch? Pitch is controlled by a two flight uh, control surfaces called elevators. So upon longitudinal axis, we got, uh, sorry, uh, on lateral axis, we got longitudinal stability. And how do we remember this? It goes up and down. And where does we have the elevator? 
in the lateral axis. So these are the three types of axes and three types of stability and a brief discussion of the center of gravity. So if you have any questions, put them down in the comment section below, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to add something again on the comment section below, like my video, share the knowledge and I'll come back with a new video. Till then, keep fixing.